Well, um, I am here with Sister Helena, our uh, 2023 Distinguished Alumni Recipient, one of two Distinguished Alumni Recipients for this year. Uh, thank you for taking time to meet with me today, Sister. My pleasure, and thank you for inviting me. Um, I wonder if perhaps you could tell us a little bit about your time as a student at General Seminary. Well, it was very different to what almost anybody who's been there in the last 50 years can imagine, because it was 51 years ago that I matriculated. And at that point, there were maybe half a dozen women enrolled. And the two of them were commuting students. And another one, another two, I think, had rooms on the close. And I was just a short walk across town. So that wasn't too much of a bother because there, there seemed to be a certain hysteria among the alumni. And I use that ending uh, deliberately uh, at the idea of men and women using the same facilities. No. So it wasn't until my middler year that uh, the women had uh, rooms on the close. Wow. except for the one or two who were put in what were guest rooms. What what drew you to General Seminary back in those days? It was the one that seemed to sit most closely with my churchmanship. It was the one where I knew people, not well, most of them, but I knew people and knew a lot of graduates. And... Quite frankly, the one that I thought wouldn't turn me down instantly, if not sooner. And indeed, that was the case. They, you didn't. Can you speak a little bit about your own uh, journey to ordination? I come from a family that has a number of ordained men in it. Um, not all of them Episcopalians, so it wasn't it wasn't an unfamiliar uh, career path, except for the fact that women didn't do it. Uh, and my mother said I took too literally the quotation from Stonewall Jackson that was over the barracks gate at Virginia Military Institute. You may be whatever you resolve to be. And somehow, I'm not sure whether it was me or God or both of us, decided that I was supposed to prepare for ordination and not as a gay kamikaze, but just as an ordinand and uh, go for it. And if, if it was God's will, it would be. And if not, there'd probably be ructions, but there were ructions anyway. So. Well, um, I wonder if you have any words that you'd like to share with your um, your fellow alums from General Seminary as we gather uh, here uh, for our alumni um, reunion. Uh, any, any words of greeting or um, any words of wisdom you'd like to pass along to them? Alumni et alumniquae. Glad to be with you. Wish I could be at, at, with you in body, but the body is aging and uh, not quite as functional as it once was. Uh, so I couldn't be there in person, but I hope to be with you uh, by video if, if we don't have a hurricane or a snowstorm or something. Uh, Glasgow weather is notoriously changeable, and I look forward to this, uh, partly because of the anniversary of the chapel, having spent many hours in the Chapel of the Good Shepherd, 
and because despite the fact that occasionally the behavior of the leadership at general has occasionally annoyed me almost past bearing, but I think he who has ears let him hear. Um, it's still in some ways my alma mater. It's still a place that I come back to being very grateful for the faculty who mentored me, who taught me, and the quality of the education I had, and particularly um, Bob Wright and Dick Corney and Dick Norris and well and most of the others either in scripture or history um, which were my two principal interests other than liturgical well sister thank you so much for your your words of, of wisdom and greeting and on behalf of general theological seminary uh, we are pleased to count you as our distinguished alumna uh, for this season, and we give thanks to God for your brave, bold, trailblazing ministry, and for the ways in which you have listened to the Spirit's cry for justice and inclusion in this church and in God's beloved world, and I'm thankful for your ministry. And thank you for the ministry of General Seminary, who managed to uh, not to suppress this uh, headstrong, mostly Scott, but partly Dutch woman <laughs> who uh, had a tendency to bash her head against barriers. But hey, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Amen. Thank thanks be to God for your strong head. And thanks be to God for GTS.